video, we are going to learn how to create a workflow with multiple protocols in it. The reason you would want to string together multiple protocols in one workflow is so that samples will naturally flow into the second protocol when the first one is complete. This will save you from having to write a routing script. Just as a reminder, if you want extra practice on how to build a workflow, if you click on the eye icon in the top toolbar, this will bring you into the Walk Me page and will give you step-by-step -step directions on how to configure a workflow. First, we want to click on the Configuration tab. Then you want to click on the light purple button next to the Workflow column. Then you're going to scroll down and you will need to give your workflow a name. And then you'll need to click save. After you click save, the workflow will have a pending tag next to it and you will see under the protocols column, there is now a dashed line and a one with a dash box next to it. We are now ready to start adding our protocols to this workflow. You can add the protocol by clicking the gray plus button next to the protocol name. If you made a mistake, you can click the minus next to the protocol name and it will remove it from the workflow list. You can then also add additional protocols to this workflow. While your workflow is still in a pending state, you can reorder the protocols in this workflow by clicking the protocol name and dragging and dropping it. Once you have confirmed your workflow looks the way you want it, you can now activate it. Here, we will toggle the workflow status from pending to activate. A yellow pop-up will appear that states, once a workflow is active, it can be archived, but not modified or deleted. This cannot be undone. This is a warning just to be sure that you are done with development. You also want to confirm the workflow name because once you click save, the workflow name will be locked down and it cannot be changed along with the order of the protocols in the workflow. After clicking save, the workflow no longer has a pending, a pending tag next to it. It is now active and you can assign your samples here.